there, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I am back today with the third week of the Heather's Haunted Haven Halloween collaboration. I think I got that right, I think I did it all the ages. Um, so this week we are making a altered hoop and this is actually the first time I've ever made an altered hoop and I think it might show, it's a bit of a mess. Um, but anyway, I had fun making the different elements of it and I hope um, that Sarah, um, Rare Rue Crafts, when she opens it up, she's my swap partner, which is not too horrified when she opens it up. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did. So um, for anybody who hasn't made one before, you start off with an embroidery hoop like this one. So that, that's the same size, so it's 24 centimetres. Um, and what I did was I glued um, some stripy, black and white stripy paper to the back um, and I just used, um, I used Yoohoo glue um, and it seems to have worked quite well. Um, I was going to use hot glue but oh, I don't know, I don't always have that much success with hot glue and the Yoohoo touch wood seems to be... Um, holding everything really nicely. So I glued that um, black and white card to the back to make the base and then I've added a little Halloween scene at the back. So I inked up a circle of um, white card um, with some Distress Oxide inks and I cut a little circle and added in a um, holographic moon and then this um, Haunted House dye is from Tattered Lace, so I cut it out in black pearl card and then I just added in yellow in all the windows so it looks like the lights are on. Um, I splattered some water on the inky background and then I just added some little spots and stars using a white gel pen. And then I've added this little zombie bat which was a digital stamp from um oddball um i'll find the exact link is it oddball art they do like creepy and cute digital stamps and i really love them um so i colored him in with pencils and fussy cut them out and added him now i've added a couple of pockets because next week we are going to um add some goodies some um embellishments that's what we're making next week so I made two little pockets by just gluing it onto the, the base of the frame so this one is a kind of scripted paper um, thick paper and I've added some um, kind of spider's web um, paper along the edge black and white and then a row of gems to just make it stand out a little bit and then I've added a smaller pocket on here and I just put a little ruffle of purple ribbon there and some purple gems. And again, another one of the bats, this, they came in a set. Um, so this is a kind of ghosty bat. And I coloured him in with some alcohol inks and fussy cut him out. And then this um, pumpkin was tattered lace as well, I think. Um, so I paper pieced some green for the leaves and I added a little bit of detail with some alcohol ink pens just to give them a bit of, make them look a little bit more 3D. Um, and I um, put some orange card behind the copper and then paper pieced in the stalk. Um, this was a little cut apart I had and I just stamped it and added some Nuvo drops on so it looks like the the little screws um, and a few little gems here and there. I might have gone overboard with the gems but <laughs> and then I popped, um, oh I should have said I put some eyelash trim underneath this um, circle and then around the edge I have doubled up some pom-pom trim in orange and black and then I see what I mean I went a bit overboard I decided to do the back as well so the back says boo 
um, because you might not expect it. So this pocket on the back, I have added a whole load of little jars. Now these were from Clearly Besotted. Leave me rummaging on my desk. So these were two stamp sets from Clearly Besotted. Feeling Frightful and Feeling Frightful Fillers. And I've had them for... I might have got them last year, maybe the year before. Um, but they're really they're good fun. So you get the the jar and you get the labels. I didn't add labels to them. Um, and you get the shelf and you get all the little things to put in. So there's a couple with a little toad or a frog. Um, we've got spiders, worms, a brain, fingers, caterpillars, um, and of course some eyeballs. I cut the boo out of some black patterned paper and then added a little Halloween bat. And then the background is the other side of the stripy paper had these kind of frames. So I cut some um, of the patterned papers from the Echo Park pad to fit in some of the frames. And I also found online some of these kind of little spooky pictures. So there's like a couple that are like weddings and this little man with his violin with the skull. So I just um, played about with printing them until they were the right kind of size that I could trim them down for the frames. Um, and the rest just patterns or words or whatever. Um, so that is the back. So there's a pocket there for some embellishments and a pocket here and a pocket here. So next week I will be back showing the embellishments which I'm going to pop inside. I've also got a few goodies but um, I am not going to show those so that when um, Sarah receives the swap and opens up there's a, something that she's not seen before um, because I think we've both been a bit naughty and peeking each other's videos each week to see um, what each other has been making so at least then there'll be a little bit of a surprise so um, thank you very much for watching I hope that you enjoyed um, this video and my slightly over the top um, altar tube if you've got any um, suggestions or feedback I would be um, I would be very grateful <laughs> please be kind it's the first one I've ever made um, Again, I just want to say thank you very much to Heather who's organised this whole collaboration. It's, I'm just really enjoying it and it's um, it's great fun to try something different. And um, there's such a talented group of crafters. Um, so they will all be linked in the description below. So please check them out. Check out Heather. Leave everybody some um, likes and comments and share the YouTube love. So thank you very much. Have a lovely weekend, everybody, and I hopefully will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.